Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you for that. Thank you for this opportunity to be here today. Today I come to speak to you about telling your story and how it, the importance of telling your story is. We all have a story and you've heard um, Merlin Fred here talk, talk about the history that we come from. It's all part of our legacy. It's all part of us telling our story as well. The people who were enslaved we don't know their stories individually. We know what happens to them because we know the injustices that they went through. But each and every single one of us, sorry, let me go back to the microphone, I'm used to walking around, sorry. Each and every one of us has a story. And that story, oh wonderful, thank you so much. One, two, thank you. And that story that we have is powerful. The stories that we have will set another person free. Now I just want you to raise your hands if you think that you have a story. Just raise your hands for me. Let, let's see, I want you to put your hands up really high. What's your story? See there's some young ones who put their hands up. Every single one of us in this room, our hands should be raised because each and every one of us has a story. Your life is significant. The things that you go through in your life are significant. You may not feel that they are, but they are. I'm here to tell you. So, I'm gonna introduce you to this book. This book is called The Journey Beyond Windrush. How many of our elders are here today who came over in the 50s, 60s, even the 40s and the 70s? Can we just see your hands if you came over to this country in that time. Is that Pastor Vaughan over there? It is. Pastor Vaughan's story, one of his stories is in this book. Your story of what you went through is so significant. It's not just significant for me as a first generation born in this country, but for the children that come after me, for my grandson, to know what you experienced, why you came here, and why his life is the way it is today. And that goes from generation to generation to generation. And without your stories, we lose ourselves. It's part of us. You are important. So I want to encourage you. Now, this is the first book, The Journey Beyond Windrush. It's out in the foyer. I would like every single person to buy a book. I want your money. And I'm going to be very honest with you. Yeah, I, I'm not here to, to make friends. I'm here to tell you the truth. Yeah. I want your money. Because your money will enable us to make another set of books. Will enable us to make volume two. So that those people who raise their hands from the Windrush generation, who are sitting here with stories within them, so that we can publish their stories so that the next generation can read their stories. What you experienced, the things that you went through, please, please, please do not take it to the grave. And I pause right there, because the graveyard is the most, has the most amount of money right there. Legacies lost, stories lost, because it's gone to the grave. Do not let that be your story. Please, please, do not let that be your story. No matter how you think you're insignificant, there is a story in you. When I think about my grandmother and the Dutch part, <laughs> on the open fire in Jamaica, her kitchen which was outside, when I went to Jamaica, I did not know that kitchens were outside and that they made fires and, and, and then cooked outside. When I went to my grandmother's house and I, and I, and I walked on the grass, she said, my new, my new place, I'm in kitchen, you're walking. And I was like, sorry, Granny, I didn't, know, I didn't have an idea. And she sat me down and she told me things that I would never have known because my mum passed away when I was 11. So I didn't know. But you are here today and you know, you know your story. 
You know what you've been through. Young ones, you know what you're going through. Start writing your journals. Write it down. What the Bible says, that's all I know. All I know, and I'm going to leave it here, is write the vision down and make it plain. So he who reads it will run with it. Your vision is your story. Your vision is your life. Your vision is the things that you see before you. Write it down. So he, she, we who read it can run with it, can understand it, can grow from it. Please know the value of your story. My name is Yvonne Michelle. I'll be outside with this book. Like I said, I want your money, all of it, so that we can produce more books like this. Thank you so much.